Welcome to another episode of Doll Chat. I've got lots of cool Monster High news and photos for you guys to take a look at today. And as always, tell me what you think of these in the comments below. Starting us off, in case you don't know already, um, the Monster High Electrified movie will be available for DVD purchase on March 28th. And here is what the animation will look like. And I really like that they're featuring some cool characters that weren't really featured in the last movie, like Twyla, Venus, and of course our new ghoul Sylvie. And it seems like the animation is the same as in Welcome to Monster High. And I really like it. I actually at first wasn't the biggest fan of it, but just like the reboot, it totally grew on me. So I think this animation is pretty cute. And tell me what you guys think. And uh, comment below if you know, is this movie going to be in theaters like Welcome to Monster High? Or is it just on DVD? Because um, I'm not really sure. They didn't announce it to be in theaters. But I don't know. Anything can happen. And this is what Ari looks like in human form as Tess. I think that's her name, Tess or Tessa. I actually quite like this look for her. And moving off of Electrified, comment below if you guys caught the face-off episode on Sci-Fi where they went to Mattel and looked at the Monster High Ghouls and recreated the looks. Here are just some of the ones that they made. I think that the Draculaura one is so cute, and my favorite here is got to be the Laguna one, because that just looks so awesome. But I feel like they made them look a lot more like monsters, rather than they usually look so cute and sweet. I mean, look how fierce Claudine looks here. It's really accurate, and I'm not really sure how exactly they did the teeth, but this is just so cool. And check out Venus. They made them a lot more scary than I expected. <laughs> But they definitely have some real makeup skills on there. Now let's take a look at some dolls. Here is what the uh, first day of school dolls Wave 2 will look like. I'm not really sure why they took so long to officially say that they'll be releasing these. Because we've been seeing photos of them for quite a while. But here they are in box, and I'm not 100% sure if it's true, but it looks like on the boxes it says if you buy these, then you can get $5 off the Welcome to Monster High movie. It's just what it says on the box. And I'll probably be getting all of these, if not all, then just Laguna and Claudine. And here is an up-close look at Sports Venus. I'm not quite sure what the official name is for this line is, I think it's just called Skultimate Sports or something, but I feel like it's an awesome recreation of Ghoul Sports, and I'm really happy they included Venus here. And I actually quite like her face in the reboot. There are only a few faces in the reboot that I liked more than the older ones, and that's Venus, Laguna, and Cleo. And Claudine looks okay too, but... Those are like the only ones that I really liked more now. Because they didn't change it too much. They kind of just made her eyes a bit bigger. And she comes with like a little water bottle and towel as her accessories. And now I know that Zombie Gaga is not super new. And by the way, comment below if you saw her Super Bowl performance. That was so unique. But here are some close-up pictures of Zombie Gaga the doll. In case you're having trouble deciding whether you want to get her or not. Um, I will be getting her as soon as their price goes down because right now she's out of stock and only available from the individual sellers. And I'm sorry, but as awesome as she looks, I really do not want to pay $60 or $50 for one doll. But once she goes back to her retail price, which is $30, I believe, I will definitely get and review her. And now here's a look at the $10 emoji ghouls that are at Target. There's only four in this line, for now at least. And by their names on the side, I put the emoji that I think best describes them or goes with their personality and stuff. I really like the way they style the hair in these pictures. I wish it was that perfect on the dolls, but I just know it won't be because the hair is never that perfect. 
and Claudine seems to have different hairstyles in different pictures, but basically it's just curly, and I really love her hat. And uh, Claudine and Laguna are my favorites in this line, so I will probably be getting all of these as soon as I find all of them, because I want to get them all together. And in case you guys haven't seen them yet, here are the dessert ghouls. We have yet another budget line. I'm not sure why they seem to be doing so many of these. Maybe they're selling really well. I don't know. Here is Cleo. I just love her big cupcake headband and her hairstyle. I think it's just so cute. And take a look at Ari. She is all cake inspired. And Cleo was cupcake inspired. And here's Katrine who has donuts on her head and how cool is that? I actually kind of like the orange in her uh, donuts. It looks pretty cool. So those are pretty nice. Alright guys, so that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below what you think and what you are most excited for.